Hey everybody, how you doing? UPS PVD Dave here. It's Wednesday, January 5th, 2022 as I create this video and I have all but pressed stop complete. UPS PVD peak season 2021 is basically over for me. As you might remember, my previous last day was uh, the 24th, December 24th. Haven't worked a PVD route since then. Took a week off. That was rather nice over the holidays there. Kept in contact with my hub, and they just they let us know every day whether or not they needed us. Sent us text messages every day saying, uh, we don't need you today, but maybe tomorrow, maybe next week, and so on and so on. In my market in central Iowa, the package count dropped pretty significantly, but again, as I've mentioned before, we are a university town, so quite a few of the uh, 25,000 uh, university students had left over winter break. I resumed my door dashing career and been in, like I said, been in contact with the hub, and I called them up yesterday and said, hey, what's the odds of you really needing me in my small town in Nevada? And they said, you know what, really, pr probably not likely. When the college kids come back in the next five to seven days, they said we may have an influx of packages in Ames. And I said, okay, I said, let the Ames PVD guys take that, you know, their regular routes, if you will. And, uh, you know, I'm good with uh, being done for the year. But if you need me, do let me know. Jeepin' with Julia out in Reno reported on a comment today that she's still working here and there, and uh, uh, she said, I think they really like me because they always act a little surprised when uh, I say I'm done. I, I think I'm faster than everybody. <laughs> it's good to hear about another uh, superstar out there. So anyway, my people at my hub thanked me profusely for my third year of uh, UPS PVD service and said, we hope to see you next year. And I replied back, I will be back. So while everybody's market and hours were different, going to take a look, quick look at my numbers. I worked a total of nine weeks, started the first week of November. My gross pay was just short of $9,000 at our $21 an hour rate here in Central Iowa. Speedwagon and I cranked out 3,800 miles delivering Christmas goodies to the people. That, that's a record for me. And that, a lot of that was running that rural route the first month. So at 56 cents per mile uh, reimbursement, that was a little over uh, $2,100. So a very good 2021 UPS peak season PVD for me. As you all know, this was my third year as a UPS PVD, but like I've said before, I just finished up, quote, my sixth or seventh month of actual service spread out over that three-year period. And this year was the easiest year when I returned back because I had the other four months, if you will, <laughs> already underneath my belt. You know, a couple glitches here and there, but things smoothed out and it came right back to me real quick. So if this was your first year as a PVD and you intend on returning next year, next year will be a heck of a lot easier than it is this year. You've got your orientation under your belt. Just look at the first year as orientation. Next year you'll just slip into it like a nice pair of jeans. So again, if you uh, intend on returning next year, I suggest you go over to jobs-ups.com and in the upper menu there, you can see the little bell icon about get job alerts for your area. You can fill that form out, set all the criteria that you want. Uh, you know, it's highly unlikely that they'll need us at any time during the spring or summer or fall, you know, prior to what they call peak season. But you never know, so you can set up those job alerts and uh, maybe even keep in contact with your hub manager, driver manager. Uh, that's what I've done over the last uh, year or two. And of course, I, the driver in my town, you know, I know him real well. So we always keep in contact if there's anything going on. So I'm not just suggesting that you keep your foot in the door. I'm suggesting that you put your whole body there because, you know, this third party recruiting thing that they did this year. Oh, I hope they get rid of that. But, you know, it's unlikely. We don't know. The pencil pushers will decide that. But anyway, we all know that that third party hiring thing was just a snafu. You know, keep in contact with the people that you have right now. Get their numbers if you don't already. Touch base with them occasionally every two or three months or whatever. You know, especially as we get into October next year, you know, you're going to want to be on the job site talking with your people, making sure that you're there first in line if you want to do this again. 
super quick side note I lost my first package ever we it just we just could not find it you know they knew that it was at the warehouse uh, I loaded it up they thought that they could track it to a couple houses away uh, I went and looked on the porches yada yada knocked on a couple doors just could not find that package it was a pretty small one. The, the the recipient indicated it was leggings, you know, and uh, just couldn't find it. Last week, I was kind of cleaning out Speedwagon. We'd had some snow that night, and I pulled my big uh, snow brush out from underneath the seats. I have all the seats laid down, you know, for a cargo area in Speedwagon, and attached to the brush of the snow brush was this little envelope package. Uh, it had fallen down in between the cracks and then got shoved under. I don't know how it got to where it was. So anyway, I called up the hub and I said, what do you want me to do with it? They had not filed a claim, you know, about the lost package. Whether or not they dealt with the company that shipped it, I don't know. They said, just go take it to them. So uh, I think it was like 10 days after I was supposed to have delivered it. I uh, went up and knocked on the door and the husband was there and I said, I found it. <laughs> so anyway, they, that, that package ultimately got delivered. So to wrap this up, I want to thank everybody for watching the videos and jumping in with your commentary. I tried to respond or give a thumbs up to every single one of you. If I miss you, some of that stuff kind of gets held for review. And I wasn't too diligent in going into that page on YouTube and looking and seeing what comments had not been posted, yada, yada, yada. But this series of videos was very well received this year, and that was because of you guys out there. Again, thank you very much. I intend on doing it again next year. You never know if there might be some changes and uh, I hope to see you all next year and with that as always all right guys and gals that's all I've got for you today hopefully you can take something from this video and put it to use for yourself thanks for coming along for the ride and hope to see you next time